Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you a short video how you can create a USB bootable flash drive so you can install Windows 7 with it. First I'm going to log into my Windows 10 machine. Okay, And after that I'm going to open an Internet Explorer or a browser. Um, I have uh, the new Edge browser with Windows 10 so I'm going to use that and I'm going to open google.com and in there I'm going to search for Windows 7 that is USB DVD download tool. Uh, the first uh, link that you will see is the Windows DVD download tool by Microsoft uh, it's recommended so you can use it and you can download it from the microsoft.com website which is verified that uh, it can work and there are no viruses within that so I'm going to use this tool it's really a simple tool really small one and it will help me just with two or three clicks to create my USB flash drive uh, so that uh, I can boot later to it um, and install my Windows 7 so if you scroll down uh, there is um, information from where and how you can install the uh, the tool uh, there is information what are the minimum requirements and what you can do uh, so the first link you will see click here to open the uh, windows download page so i'm going to click that and it will open another page and later i'm going to provide you with uh, the direct link in the description below of the video so you can directly click um, here to find where you can download the usb dvd download tool where you can find the information and here you can see that right on the right side there is a big download purple download button and i'm going to click that it's going to start downloading my tool okay it's going to run a security scan and after that I'm going to click run and I will guide you through the installation process is really simple you need to click next and install only and it's finished installing the download tool now on your desktop you will see the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool and when you double click it it will open and you will need to specify the source file that would be the Windows 7 um, ISO file that you have um, of course if you bought your uh, Windows 7 um, you should have access to the ISO or uh, if you lost the DVD um, I assume that you still have the CD key for that so you can download another ISO file and just use it uh, later use that DVD uh, that CD key to activate your windows now I'm going to browse and choose the ISO file where um, I have my Windows 7 ISO there it is and I'm going to click open and click next and in there um, you have two options one is to create a USB device for boot and one is to create a DVD it's up to you I usually use the USB device so this tutorial will be the um, showing you how to create the USB device so I'm going to go with it okay and in there I'm going to choose my F drive which is my HP flash drive and as soon as you plug in your USB it will be automatically picked up by the um, by the tool if it's still not uh, able to detect it I assume that uh, you can unplug it plug it once again you should be able to see it within your uh, my computer when you open it so the next step is to begin copying it will say that um, it will erase all the content so be sure that you save all of your data before you erase the uh, USB device Okay it will warn me once again and it's going to start formatting my flash drive after the format is complete it's going to copy over the information uh, from the ISO um, file directly to my USB so after this is complete uh, I should have um, 
nice bootable flash drive where I can use to boot next time directly from it and install my Windows 7. So I'm going to pause uh, the video right here. There are no other uh, messages or anything else that you need to click during this process. You just need to wait for the percentages to go up to 100. So I'm going to pause and we'll resume after this is complete. So my wizard is almost complete. It's at 98% uh, and I just want to um, resume the video here so you can see what will happen when you finish the wizard. Basically it should say that uh, the Windows USB flash drive is ready to be used. But let's see if um, uh, I will be correct with this one and there will be uh, there won't be any issues. And after that I just want to I will just try to test it and see if indeed my uh, flash drive uh, or my oper or my computer is going to uh, boot from my um, bootable USB drive. So you can see that the backup is completed. If I go into my computer and I go open my uh, USB drive, I will see that I have all the needed files uh, for my um, USB drive to boot um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, try to boot from it. So I'm going to restart the machine and pause the video right here and uh, we'll see if that's going to boot after that. Now I've restarted my computer and you can see that I need to press a key so it can boot from the CD or DVD or in my case is the uh, USB flash drive. So you can see that uh, currently the Windows 7 uh, st is starting so I can proceed with the Windows 7 installation but Windows 7 installation I will make in another video. I just want this to be short and clear. So this is how you can create a USB bootable flash drive and you can use it for your computer when you need to reinstall uh, your PC from um, to perform a clean uh, reinstallation of the computer. Um, thank you very much for viewing. If you have any questions, you can always uh, ask them in the um, comments below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And again, see you soon.